So David, where are we? We're at Bright Park off um, Mayfair. There's a car driving along Mayfair behind us at Andrew's farm. An absolutely beautiful place. And uh, a couple of times when we've been in Mayfair, the sun has shone magnificently. And today's such a day, this morning. And what's the reason we've come here? Well, we've, we've come here to uh, seek God's face and to dwell in his presence. Uh, to be with another person in worshipping God in this in this way, and to read His Word. What did we read this morning? We read uh, we read uh, two Chronicles seven fourteen and following. Yeah. Then we walked around. We walked around. Yes. So we read it three times. We read it three times. We're listening for something that God is saying to us. You've been dwelling in that passage for a week or so, you yes, said. Yes. So we wanted to slow down and yes. catch. And then we just spent time being present here, dwelling in this beautiful place. That's right. In the presence of God. Mm. What impressions do we have? Well, it's actually, I've only just seen it as we sat down, but I, the first few verses to me says to keep your eyes fixed upon God. Okay. And to seek his face and it's has also come into my mind about not being diverted by things now we're in an actual an education park here which is a great park for kids because they learn about the roads and road rules you can turn to the left if I can use better terms you can turn under the left or under the right and you can easily You've got, you need to choose a way to go all the time. So my, I believe that we need to determine what God's way is and stick to his path. And I, I noticed these beautiful trees, but there's one tree there that is, it looks dead. Yes, it, it almost looks burnt a bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. And it is, well, I, I just wonder, uh, because the, they're all gums, I think, of various, well, not all gums, but, yeah. Well, we are symbolically turning away from God. He, he will withdraw his favor. Yeah. And, yes. And, and this is- If the soil is poisoned or yes. the roots- uh, There could be something like that. The, the, there's no suggestion that was a fire down the bottom and they burnt, but it, there could be something to poison that. Poison those roots, yes. And we see in this passage that idolatry, the turning away to other gods, poisons the roots. Yes. But there's an invitation. Uh, if my people will call by my name, will hear my voice, will humble themselves, humble themselves yes. turn from their wicked ways. Mm. Wicked ways could be that we've put something else at the center other than God, mm. could even be church activity, could be. or evangelistic program, yes. something we're doing for God. Yes. Somehow we make that the center, yes. and yet we're called back to dwell in the house of the Lord, yes. which is his presence, yes. and to live out of his presence. And then he forgives our sin, yes. he heals our land, yes. he restores what was broken yes. and lost. And, and indeed, we can be formulaic, even in, our, in even in our worship, where we we sort of tick the boxes and then ask God to bless that, rather than seeking Him in the beginning, and and even even on a Sunday to uh, just enable the Spirit to to come in and, and and dwell in us. And even if we need to change, we should be in the house was that, of course the temple mm. at that time symbolic of presence and place to worship and at the center of everything the house today uh, we are the house and as we looked at on sunday father son make their home in us mm. and we're together two living stones there's other living stones in this neighborhood we're actually the dwelling place of mm. god by the Spirit. Yeah. So we have access to the Father, 
we have the life of the Son and bless all the Holy Spirit. That's right. Way. To the Father, by the Son, from the Holy Spirit. Oh, by the Holy Spirit. So he's not just from with us, he's in us. In us, that's right. And that's profound. Call by my name. And in fact, the your talk and the reading last Sunday uh, from John 14 just talks continually about God, the Father being in the Son and, and us being anointed to the, the, the Spirit living within us. Yes. And I was just last night, there was a WhatsApp group for the Ukraine and the people from around the world are putting little prayers into it. And this one person in Ireland I put in a thought about prayer, that prayer is where heaven and earth meet. Here we are dust, that God breathed life into us. And we open our heart in prayer, and heaven, yes. your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then her prayer for the Ukraine was that the people of God would be at home with Jesus in the midst of all the storm. Yes. God's, the people will see, will see God, God through that. And that He is their yes. fortress, That's His right. presence, whatever happens. Whatever happens, yes. yes. That, and that they will be a fragrant aroma yes. to His presence. That's right. And so as we have this conversation, we have the aroma of Christ's presence. Mm. Yeah. And as I um, was talking to some, someone last night, yeah. saying that, wind of the spirit comes and then that aroma yes. uh, is taken where God wants it to go yes. and we just got to follow yes, for sure. and catch up you know that young guy out across the road there washing his car mm. even we're sitting here now in Jesus name we bless him yes. that the aroma of Christ would fill his heart yes. with yes. peace and give him abundance That's right. mm. salvation he hasn't got it Perhaps it, there may be an opportunity for peace. Who, the lady who worships it with Mahama. Yes. To to meet him or her husband to to meet him. So that uh, significant the symbolism of some of those African names, the, the spirit-filled names. Yes. And we had the thought when we came that there's something special about this park. place of learning, got the seat to come and have a conversation. We, there's a church with no walls here. It's a church with no walls. Uh, we know that there are some Christian leaders yes. living on this street and uh, in the neighboring streets. And so we want to consider talking to some of those leaders and say, next time you gather in unity, why not come here? Yes. And we just be present and dwell in the presence. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak. And in the fragrance of His presence, ask Holy Spirit, what are you, where is your wind blowing mm. in this neighborhood? Yes. And, and how do you want us to walk with you? Yes. So it's not a program or no, a project. No, not at all. And in that, we do want some of these leaders, servants, God working with people to catch the vision that it's not just prayer walking as a program, but where their people are actually dwelling and they are called by his name yes. and they live in this region, that they are the ones to be present yes. with the aroma of Christ yeah. and the spirit, the wind of the spirit, and then the Father's love and fire begins to bring good news. I'll just go off screen for a moment.